Mata is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. All told, 10 men come to the plate here. Six of them score. On now to the top of inning number four. The Rays are out in front, eight to nothing. Josh Harrison stands in. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. First pitch coming. Here it is. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Right. Swung on and missed that strike two. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Oh, man, he's yeah, been man. absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the 40. last couple of games. That's his Perfect. fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Here's Jordy Mercer now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Now a ground ball and a chance for Adamas at short. Throw gets him. Two down. Digging in to try it again. Miguel Cabrera. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that one right down Main Street. Two out, nobody on. Good cut that time by Cabrera, but he couldn't come up with it. It's 0-2. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his own, showing a lot of... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And one thing he mentioned is how well they're doing it, simply putting the ball in play. They've obviously got a double-digit total in the hits column, but perhaps just as impressive is that they've not struck out a single time today. That's about as rare as it gets in today's sport. So they have a lot to feel good about right now, Matt. Thank you, Heidi. Riding in once Ray. again, Tommy Pham the hit the fielder. ball pretty well in his last Tommy. at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah. yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Hit high and deep to right center. Castellanos is after it. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first down of the inning. Now Final back. line there for the Detroit the starting pitcher. What? Certainly not the night he wanted to have. He well, this one's really easy to dissect. Too many pitches left over the heart of the plate. Three bombs allowed in this one. He's going to have to do a better job of throwing quality pitches down the road.
First delivery to him on the way. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep back to left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. It's a solo homer here for Mike Zanino. His second home run of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Now batter, the designated hitter, Gadjo. Standing in now, Daniel Robertson. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. Solo shot to right center. His second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. The batter, the right fielder, Guillermo Heredia. Stepping in now, Guillermo Heredia. Liner toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, center fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Stepping up now, Kevin Kiermaier. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. He's set and the pitch. A swing and this one is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to stop it. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game as the blowout continues. Well, you have a great night in hockey. You score three goals, and that's a hat trick. But how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball equivalent of a hat trick, and that's awfully hard to do. The batter, number one, shortstop, Willie. Into the box that's now, it. Willie Adamas. The bouncer to the left side. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we now take a look at the league leaders the in hitting. Baseball. And as you can see there, he's currently in sure. fifth place in that department in the AL race. Ready for another chance. G-Man Choi. He's got a couple of doubles thus far, so we'll see if he can keep it up. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Matuk moves over. And the inning is over. So they get three runs here, all coming via solo home runs. On to the top of it. Inning number five we go. It's the Rays 11 and the Tigers nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. 
Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning course. around for them. The right fielder. Thank you, nine. Heidi. Nick Tufty Young. Pitch on the way. Sliced hard on the ground. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here. As we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Number, Number 11 is, is also the into the game as he takes over at short. Shortstop. Number 11. Well, oh, might not have been where he was hoping to put that pitch, but he somehow gets a swing on it anyway. Strike one. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ball game for the Tigers. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0-2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Now look at our line score to this point, and now I'm that, almost certainly jinxing things by pointing Gone. it out, but it's worth hit. mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. To the plate now is the designated hitter, John Hicks. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Count remains at 0-2. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. Stepping in, Brandon Lowe. First at bat of the game the for him here in the fifth as the he was a baseman. late entrant into Number this eight. one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Line drive to center field. Matuk has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with Matt. some sort of a hit, but it Got hung three. up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Into the box, Matt Duffy. And there's a base hit on the line. Oh, and he misses it. 
You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Stepping up to the plate, Tommy Pham. 0 for 2 for him to this point. 